Hi, I'm Caitlin, and welcome to video 9 of the Quick Start series for the Analog Discovery 2. In this video, we'll be going over the power supply. A benchtop power supply is an essential tool for anyone wanting to work on electronics, whether that be a hobbyist, a professional, or a student. However, benchtop power supplies can be bulky and take up a lot of space. One of the many tools that the Analog Discovery 2 provides is a power supply. The Analog Discovery 2 has two power supplies, a positive supply that is capable of between 0 and 5 volts, and a negative supply that is capable of between 0 and negative 5 volts. The power supply output is primarily limited based on how you're powering your Analog Discovery 2. On USB, power is limited by the combined output of both channels. Each channel can provide between 0 and 500 milliwatts so long as the total combined output does not exceed 500 milliwatts. On auxiliary, Power is limited per channel, with each channel having a limit of 2.1 watts. The positive power supply can be accessed through the red wire, and the negative power supply can be accessed through the white wire. For easier connections, mini grabber clips can be attached to the female header end of the fly wire assembly. The power supplies can be opened by pressing the supplies button in the navigation bar in Waveforms 2015. This will open the power supplies window. In the Power Supplies window, you'll have three menu options, File, Control, and Window. In the File menu, you can save the current supply settings as a new project, open the Power Supplies up to a previous configuration, or close the window. Control gives access to the Run and Stop functions. Window lets you view any waveforms windows you may have open. You can open the current tool into a new window by pressing this button. The first button on the Power Supplies tool is the Master Enable button. This allows you to run or stop the supplies. Next are the Ready, On, Off buttons for each power supply. When Master Enable is off, you can switch between Ready and Off. With Master Enable on, you can switch between On and Off. To the right of that are drop-down menus for the positive and negative supplies. The positive supply can have any value between positive 500 millivolts and positive 500 volts, while the negative supply can have any value between negative 500 millivolts and negative 5 volts. Remember, to get the most accurate output, your Analog Discovery 2 must be calibrated. Waveforms 2015 will let you know whether you are auxiliary or USB powered in the note below all the buttons. If you attempt to draw more current than the Analog Discovery 2 can provide, Waveforms will display an overcurrent warning. If this happens, disconnect any output that's directly connected to ground or the source of the overcurrent. Our next video is about the data logger. Subscribe to stay up to date with Digilance products and services. Thanks for watching!